The Bournemouth 2026 partnership consists of public organisations, private companies, faith groups and charities. Working together, these bodies have devised a set of visions that will contribute to making Bournemouth a better place for residents and visitors alike. This film sets out what has been done in Bournemouth over the last few years to achieve these visions and will also pose the question, what can you do to make a difference? It's a privilege to live here. Is that the truth, Catherine? It is. It is. I love living here. Uh, you may ask why we are focusing on Voskham. Well, it's one of the most deprived areas in the borough and it has a high level of uh, health deprivation, uh, high population turnover, unemployment and more people living in overcrowded conditions. However, its economic potential is huge. We've got beautiful parks, stunning scenery, very vibrant community and a lovely beach. I'm the chair of the Barback Group in Boscombe, which is Boscombe Area Businesses Against Crime. Um, but a couple of years ago we won the Safer Town, Safer with Business Award, and Barback has come from that. We work to help people beat crime in trading, um, the petty crime leading up to major crime. So if we can catch them early enough, we'll just give them a yellow card. If they're a little bit more persistent, we'll give them a red card, and then they'll get arrested. The Crescent and the area around here, um, going up to Popestown, it's all up and coming. It's, um, there's a lot of people coming into the area and there's all, everyone's always looking for new investments coming to the area. The latest thing we've just started now is the new intranet system which comes from Staines initially, Staines Police Force. It's, it's an amazing system. We've actually just gone live in the last couple of weeks. And it means that everybody on the radio network can actually now, instead of having to, well, where's the paperwork, find it, no, it's a bit of a hassle. It's now a tick box system that they can log into, they tick all the boxes, and they may even see a face that they recognise and it might be unknown, which means they can actually give us further information. It means then also that the, or even the little, the major shops can use the internet systems, or the little shops can actually log in if they've got mobile phones with emails and you know I'm, I'm not into this new modern stuff <laughs> um, but, but if as long as they can get onto the internet they can actually have their passwords linked to their phones which means they can actually fill in the form there and then. I think I'd be naive to say there's no problems in Boscombe that's for sure and I'm very realistic about what problems there are um, I mean in the press a couple of days ago there was a lot of drug busts which is brilliant because it gets them off the streets and everything um, you know I think it's work in progress I think is a word for Boscombe argues because you, you know, if you could take um, a 24-hour camera and just look at 24 hours five years ago and look at 24 hours now, you'd probably go, what's the problem? I mean, we're opposite the Crescent, which is, has always been known as the centre point for the, uh, the bad images of Boscombe. Uh, you enter the Crescent to anybody in Bournemouth, they're always like, you're not there, are you? But we are here now, and in the last month we've seen the Crescent change. Um, we've got, we're currently working on um, environmental improvements in the Crescent area, which really used to be the, the entrance to Boston. It's a real gateway, and um, so we're looking at sort of making that into a more welcoming, safe, and secure place. This last five years, I think there's been a dramatic difference. And with the last two years down on the beach, you know, that super award winning beachfront we've got now. It just needs to reflect up into the town where the two can work together. That's the aim. So the town and the beach become one. You know, Coe's on the up, which is great. And with Coe being on the up and with you know, the urban beaches as well, as well, you know, all of them doing well, new investment will come. Um, with new branding, hopefully new investment will come as well. That positive image will help. A couple of years ago, Rear Lane would have been a, a no-go area, really. It, it suffered from the high-profile crimes and it was used as a back alley um, by residents and visitors of Boston. Um, since then, you know, they've tried to work with the police and the community and the traders um, has, has really resulted in the lane becoming an area that you, know, you can bring your family down and uh, new businesses have come into the, to the lane and um, been very successful. And I can only see the place getting better. I mean, there's still some, um, they'll be uh, re-renovating the Crescent. Uh, they're doing more stuff at the beach. Um, the festivals, I think, will help um, get people, more people here, more people knowing about it, more locals. 
the new buildings being built all the time, new flats, you know, the uh, boss is definitely on that. You've seen what's been done already. Now it's over to you. We want your suggestions on how we can all do things better in Bournemouth. Don't just think about the public sector. Think what can the community do? What can individuals do? Think, this is my town. How can I help to make it better? We can't feed back personally on all comments we receive, however all will be seriously considered. Actions suggested for Bournemouth 2026 partner organisations will be considered by the partners before any commitments are made. The final action plan will be made available at bournemouth2026.org.uk in August 2011. A direct link will be sent to participants who provide an email address.